So these are spontaneous physical processes, but they happen to be endothermic. All right, so this is going against my 10. We said that endothermic reactions tend to be spontaneous, or tend to be non-spontaneous, rather. Well, here are three examples. All right, so here are three examples of spontaneous endothermic reactions. So they're requiring energy, but they still go. All right, so uh, what do they have in common? Well, let's try to break down what these uh, processes are. So melting of ice. What's that mean? What's going on? Well, just think about what's going on physically with the molecules. I want to write an equation. Okay, so ice is what? Water, right? Okay, so I want to write down what? Water. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So solid water is turning into liquid water, right? That's what we mean by melting. And we know this happens. You pull ice cubes out of your freezer, they're going to melt. So that's spontaneous, right? They're going to happen. You don't have to do anything to it. It's going to happen. Well, I mean, it's temperature dependent, so it doesn't happen until above zero degrees Celsius, but it does happen. All right, what's going on with the evaporation of liquid water? Going from a liquid to a gas this time. So water in the liquid phase is going to water in the gas phase. And that happens too, right? So if I spilled some water accidentally on this desk, all right, and we came in tomorrow, that water probably wouldn't be there, right? Mm -hmm. So the dissolution of sodium chloride in water. So what's going on there? So dissolution, so we mean dissolving, right? Solid to aqueous. Solid to aqueous. That's what's going on. So we got sodium chloride is going into dissociating, dissolving to sodium and chloride. All right, so what do these three processes have in common? <laughs> they're all phase changes. That's you know, they're just physical changes, they're physical changes, and that's what's going on. It turns out that once we uh, start to look at these, all three of these processes are getting more disordered, or they're less ordered. You can say it either way, less ordered or more disordered. All, right. All three processes are getting more disordered. or less ordered. All right, and so if we think about this, you know, physically what's going on, you know, in the water, solid, all those water molecules are trapped in, you know, crystal. So they're all sitting next to each other. And there's your ice cube. All right. And then they melt, and suddenly they're just, you know, spilled out on the, the desk. And they get to move around. In the solid phase, they're all locked into position. Yeah, they're doing the solid dance. Okay, so again, that's a Chem 1 phenomenon. All right, and then once they melt, they get to do the liquid dance. Okay? <laughs> Still got it. Still got it. All right, so yeah, they get the, they're a lot more disordered. Okay, you can, you can tell where water molecules are going to be in the crystal phase and the solid. They're, you just don't know where they're going to be at in liquid phase. All right, what's going on in the evaporation? Well, you got lit water in the liquid phase, and they get to do the liquid dance. Okay, they're doing the liquid dance. But they're always next to each other, they're always in, con in contact with each other because of those hydrogen bonds. All right, then they evaporate, suddenly they're flying around. And there's lots of space in between them. And so if you just look at these pictures, like which ones look more ordered? Obviously the, the solid looks a lot more ordered than the liquid phase. The liquid phase looks a lot more ordered than the gas phase. And so we can say they're getting less ordered, more disordered. And then again, 
one more time with the sodium chloride. They're in the solid phase. And then dissolve them in water, send them to their aqueous ions, get to swim around. Yes, you're absolutely right. Good catch. I did that on purpose to make sure everyone was paying attention. Good job, Reagan. Yes, that is in the solid phase. That's what uh, the um, equation should write. Thank you. So again, we're going from a much more ordered system, the sodium chloride crystals. Suddenly, their aqueous ions swimming around. They're much more disordered. And it turns out that this is what nature tends to do as well. Okay, in terms of energy, nature tends to go downhill from high potential energy to low potential energy. Another thing nature tends to do is become more 